Hello and welcome back to my channel. First off, let me just wish you a very happy new year. It is now 2021 and hopefully all things considered, yes, and even with recent news, especially to my friends and family and viewers in Washington at the moment, I'm sure things can only get better. Fingers crossed for the remainder of 2021. Now, one good thing to happen, or maybe two good things, depending on how you look at it. One, I now have real representation of my voice. Yes, this is my voice. I've been told a number of times that the recording setup that I have doesn't really represent the, um, the sound of my voice, basically. So uh, I've invested in some new sound equipment. I'm hoping this is uh, nice to your ears, at least. And uh, I'm measuring it with my headphones. So please excuse me if I look like a bit of a twat, but I'm not attempting to look like a hipster. I am just trying to make sure that I produce some good quality content for you. So without further ado, why are we here? We are not here for ASMR, but we are here for Come on, you know what it is. It's Friday and that can mean only one thing. It is Fragrance Friday. Yes, first Fragrance Friday of 2021. First Fragrance Friday in a while actually. And uh, today as probably the icon for this video may will probably give away and the title will definitely give away. We are looking at something that isn't necessarily um, reviewed very often. You don't really find things like this uh, on the kind of like fragrance reviewer web kind of like portfolio, but it's something that I'm really passionate about. So I thought I'd introduce you to it. Now today we are taking a look at, where are you? We're taking a look at, heck I'm gonna hold this really, uh, it's really tricky package, but we are taking a look at Heckle's Incense Cones. Now the ones we're taking a look at today are the Lemon Balm Incense Cones. So the reason I'm holding it like this is because this literally has no um, Heckle's, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, your pack. the guys at Heckle's are always messing with their packaging because they're always tweaking it to make it be more environmentally friendly and uh, basically carry their products uh, better. So, and present their brand even better. So they're always tweaking, they're always adjusting. They're a bit like myself. They have an approach and an ethos that is uh, very well connected to the idea of making things better, making things uh, more efficient, making things environmentally friendly. And um, that is just gonna give you an idea of what heckles are about. Now, if you are new to this channel, you would you won't know that I'm a big fan of Heckles. Uh, sell it on uh, my website, Moazo. We have got quite a large range of uh, grooming products and fragrances. Uh, in this case, we're to be taking a look at their fragrance. If you have seen some of my previous videos on this channel, if you are a long-term viewer, you would know that I am a big fan of Heckles fragrances. And it's not just because I, I retail them, it is because I just, they are, I don't know, I just find them very, very unique, very different, and I like their approach. I always find that I get a little bit more out of their fragrances, uh, more than I expected. And what I mean by that, it's it's not the usual, hey, uh, you do, and all that sort of big marketing expenditure, musky, oody, or whatever it is. It's it's none of those fragrances that seem to be, seem to be kind of like absolutely packing out the market when it comes to top end fragrances that we're familiar with. Their fragrances tend to represent nature. And what I mean by that is they use ingredients that they have foraged locally, locally to them in Margate or around the shores of the United Kingdom. And in this case, what they've done is they've taken the lemon balm flower <laughs> uh, and they've managed to capture the oils from that plant and imbue it into one of these now this let's see if I can get this into focus is 
an incense cone. Wow. I say wow. I've just opened the box and I can already smell it. Um, so this is an incense cone. This is how they look. I'm sure you're familiar with incense cones. Uh, this incense cone is actually made from uh, wood shavings. So they've kind of really packed this together and put together an incense cone out of it. And like I said, it is packed full of lemon balm oil. Now, the interesting thing about lemon balm it is considered to be um, when when smelt through the air, it is considered to bring a feeling of calm uh, and peace and tranquility. And I must say, I've been using these for a couple of years now and they have with this new addition change their recipe or change the way they approach these. These are a lot thicker. They're a lot harder. They're, uh, wow. They are just, I mean, you just leave them open like that and they'll fill a room. They are so packed with um, fragrance. Uh, and in my take on these, because I have been using them for a very long time. I've seen their first and second editions. This is, I could probably call it a third edition. They have done a really good job with bringing this sort of fragrance into your home and um yeah let's get on with it so how do you use it for an um, an incense cone like i said if you're familiar with incense cones you've probably come across them i know i have uh during my lifetime as an indian child we have had incense cones and incense in general uh, around the homes forever i'm at, at least my home forever and um, they tend to be uh, quite smoky uh, but they take a can take a while to kind of catch and then to let go if they scent but once they're out and they're lit and they're going they do tend to fill the air really really quickly with a, a dense smoke which you'll probably see when, when i light it here so how do we use a heckles incense cone now i have been this is when i tried earlier <laughs> you can see the the ends a bit uh, i stubbed it out because i want to kind of show you guys how i do this now an incense cone especially with the instructions provided by heckles is that you light it uh you kind of like blow it out give it a bit of a so you light it it'll catch a flame as i'll show you and once the flame's gone out you give it a good kind of like a breeze like you would if you were camping to kind of get a, a fire going to really get it nice and uh, red hot and what that will do that will ensure that the uh, fibers catch and the scent kicks off so um, that's one aspect very basic aspect of lighting an incense cone I know you know this already but hey why not uh, now the interesting thing about this package by heckles is that they always recommend um, or should I say not recommend the 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 packaging that the home fragrances by Heckles comes in is tend to be multi-purpose, meaning you can use it to actually place your incense cone in. It was with the previous tins that they used to do, and now with this new sort of, um, I have no idea what this is. I've been looking, they haven't told me what it is yet. It is new, uh, and I believe it's made from reclaimed fibers. It's not a plastic, but it's reclaimed, and they've pressed it into this kind of this composite, which I believe, uh, knowing heckles, is uh, probably compostable. So uh, I don't have the information on that yet. I apologise, and when I find out, I'll let you know. Now, the interesting thing is heckles have also, I don't know, they've already provided us with some decent fragrance cones. I say decent, I'm saying it as a kind of like a general statement, but they even included a coin and it will become clear in a second this is a coin from brazil <laughs> in this case so any of my brazilian viewers this is one one for you if you can get it. this is one of your coins basically what they've done is they've placed a um, a coin of some sort in every pack and the idea is is that you take this coin and i'll, I'll do an overlay on this video uh you take this coin you put it into this lid cum tray uh, and then you place your incense cone on top and it just stops any heat getting through to the bottom of this lid tray lid <laughs> and uh, you can also use it to stub it out stub out um, a cone that you wish to stop from a continuing smoking if that's the right word anyway <laughs> let's get on with it let's light one up let's see how i feel about it and I know you know, you know, I know that you know that 
I like these already, but I really want to kind of like give you the, the, the my, my usual take on the fragrance. Uh, that said, side note, thank you for everyone who's been leaving comments about when am I going to come back with a fragrance Friday and I've been responding. There's something coming, there's something coming. Well, here it is. Uh, and um, really, thank you for the support. It's been really nice to hear, hear how everyone's doing and uh, the kind of like um, feedback for all the... Um, all the fragrance videos i know they're popular and, and i will be doing a lot more so good old matches haven't used one of these for a while obviously you can use a lighter uh, but what i found with lighters like many things and i think this is just a kind of like snobby part of, of lighting either a cigar or something like this is that you might find that the um the gas from uh, from a lighter might impart some scent initially onto this so um it's not a big deal, it'll burn away. I'm just saying it because for FYI sake. Anyway, let's do this. Be careful, don't let <laughs> these things can snap if you're too crazy with them. So, so here we go. Hopefully this will light. Ooh, let's get that going. There we go. get that out look at that and there you have it See how I gave it just a, a touch. My old Cub Scout days, my skills from being a Cub Scout have finally come into um, practice lighting fires, <laughs> which is usually they turn you into a pyrotechnician as soon as um, you join the Cub Scouts, which is strange. There you go. And well, I'm holding this in my hand at the moment, but again, I've got an overlay that I'm gonna put on this, which will show you just kind of demonstrating how to use the tray. Um, and there you go. I am now going to put that there and just let it fill the room for a bit. Now, I've, I've smelt this. I know how much I like it. And I have to agree with the idea um, of it bringing you a sense of calm. This is very, very true. And God knows we need a little bit of calm and a lack of, uh, you know, an openness, a feeling of mindfulness, a feeling of serenity, uh, especially now especially if you're kind of like feeling alone or uh, anxious with the current state of play at the moment but you know there's always something uh, that you can practice internally and something that you can light in this case externally to help you get there get help you achieve that peace of mind now as i take this in <sighs> you know what I really like this. You know I like this already. This will last, apparently according to Heckles, this will stay lit for about 15 minutes. And uh, in my estimation, depending on the breeze in the area, which will obviously increase the burn rate. Uh, if you put it in a hallway, uh, it will last about 15 minutes, that's for sure. Uh, but at the same time, the fragrance itself, so once it's burnt, once it's gone, once it's into the atmosphere, it stays really, really well. Like you can smell that all day. You can light one or two of these around the house and that scent will stay uh, really well, which is, um, I don't know if it's a sign of the way Heckles have put together this product or if it's a, just a result of the, the, the nature of lemon balm. But it smells delicious uh, it smells really nice and right now it's not like, it's uh, it's really starting to fill the room and the kind of vibe that i'm getting from it is obviously you know you've got you're, go you're going to have that initial lemon balm kind of take on it that's that's what you're going to get that's what it says on the box it's lemon balm let's get over it let's see what we can find under it and uh, okay lemon balm lemon zest lemon rind which if you are familiar 
uh, with ever tasting or squeezing zest and rind separately you know they've got a slightly different take uh, and that's obviously lemon but lemon balm actually comes from a leaf and um, various parts of of the um, of the plant itself now as I take this in apart from the zesty lemon freshness it's got a warmth to it it's warm it's earthy which kind of makes sense doesn't it it's earthy you've got the um, the wood the notes of wood in there which I'm assuming are from the wood shards or the wood composite that they've put together to carry the oil but you know what this reminds me of <laughs> It might sound really silly, but it's a happy memory. Um, it reminds me of making pancakes uh, at school. We used to have something called home economics. I'm not sure if that even exists anymore. It's a great thing. I think because of home economics, I actually have a love of cooking uh, or a passion for cooking, which I've thoroughly enjoyed doing during lockdown. And you know what it is? I remember when I had my, um, my first I can't say if, it's, if it was my first pancake, but it was home economics. Well, I don't know, it was probably year six or something like that. And uh, we were we were asked to make uh, pancakes and the teacher goes, what do you want on it? And I was like, well, we made a pancake. I've got no idea. I've not really had a pancake before, uh, especially at school. And um, she was like, you've got two options here. You've got sugar and lemon <laughs> sugar and lemon who puts lemon on food what are you going on about i'll have some sugar please and <laughs> it was sugar but she was like you're really gonna like it with lemon also in it then i was like all right you know what and when i think about it i think that's where my curious nature comes from it's like yep yeah, i'll give it a go with lemon please and it wasn't like chop fresh lemon squeeze it was like straight out of a bottle squeeze uh, it was classic and obviously for me that was what lemon was like back in the day it came out of a bowl and um, I remember having my first bite and just going and then the sugar hitting and then the lemon and then the smell of the lemon and then that kind of like lovely batter um, vanilla essence packed pancake and it just being something that i've never forgotten and i've really really thoroughly enjoyed that memory and what's really interesting about pancakes these days is that they're not they're not those kind of pancakes pancakes tend to be like cakes now right like an actual cake uh, they're not those kind of thin wafer thin pancakes that you try to flip and which and which end up falling everywhere um but the that was a very light pancake it was jam-packed way too much for vanilla essence which for some reason although i know this does not have a vanilla base or any sort of vanilla in it it really has that kind of sweetness that kind of calming tasty moorish sweetness uh, of of vanilla essence so i think that's a really good combo it's lemon fresh sweet earthy woody with a hint i would say of vanilla and that's primarily because of my memories so uh, i wonder what sort of memories it would um kick off for you it is smoky for sure it's definitely got this kind of like smoke um uh, bonfire ish essence to it but that's not because of the scent itself that's primarily because of the wood shavings that have been used in it which i think really add a wonderful warmth to it so um this is an all all year round scent that's for sure and uh i prefer heckles if you're watching this i i believe you have changed the formulation here these are totally different in my take compared to the originals and if i can pick up one of the original i'll, I'll trying to find one of the originals and i'll maybe make another video or just kind of like do it for myself but i think they're different for sure they're not as oily they're not as soggy they're not as um putty like if that makes sense it they burn slower that's for sure and all in all i i find them really really satisfying now i know that i've now lit this in this room and this scent 
it's going to last all all evening and uh, it's a great way to kind of like wind down lemon balm it's well documented and to kind of like uh, ease stress or wind down for the day and I, I got a thought that just jumped ahead of me <laughs> just for a moment there and um and that thought is which I can't, it's funnily enough on the back of the tin which i can't <laughs> uh, there we go um what's really interesting and i love i love facts like this right these sort of things are the things that I kind of go like, oh i learned something today and i thank you for it but uh it's it's kind of like jogging the memory or going away with something new if you already don't know now one thing that's writ written here is um the white summer flowers attract bees so these are the white summer flowers that grow on the plant right uh hence the genus name melissa now so this is falls into a genus of melissa okay fair enough but did you know Melissa, as stated on the back of this heckles tin, is Greek for honey bee? Love it. So, uh, yeah, I love walking away with information like that. And, you know, honey bees, they know what they're talking about or buzzing about. <laughs> they're, they're high on life and they get on with it and probably enjoy it very nicely. So, to wrap up, Let's see if I can do this again to wrap up. This is a Heckel's Lemon Balm Incense Cone available also in different fragrances, which I'll hopefully get a chance to show you those as well. What more to say? I think everything that needs to be said has been said. Have a wonderful time trying these for yourself. I'll leave the links below. Check them out. Uh, a passing note. What would that passing note be? Yes. <laughs> Any, the links are for Muazo. That's my website. So whenever you go to that link, and so I don't have any affiliate links. So when you go to that link, and if you if you choose to purchase something from Muazo, obviously that helps run the business that I run, and it helps put food on the table. If that makes sense. So um, I don't have a Patreon yet. If I I've tried, but it's a bit of a complicated scenario. I'm not sure if, if it's a great thing to do, but if you believe a Patreon would be a better way to do this, because eventually I will run out of fragrances and I will have to go out and buy them. <laughs> so if you want me to carry on doing this, make some suggestions on how I can keep fragrances rolling. And um, I hope you have a wonderful 2021. Um, and until next week, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.